This is a video for the small skin model. Now divide this in half because over here you have a representation of thick skin and over here you have a representation of thin skin. Let's start with thick. It has an epidermis with five layers, stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basalic. It also has a dermis and a hypodermis. Yellow stuff down here is adipose tissue. Now notice up here, these bumps are called dermal papillae, dermal papillae, and they interlock with the epidermal ridges. White bundles are sweat glands leading to the surface. But these white things with a little black in the middle are Miser's corpuscle. Miser's corpuscle. The black here would represent a nerve coming off of those. Blue is a vein, red is an artery, and within the dermis, you have the papillary section, which comes across, and the reticular section down here. This green thing represents the Pacinian corpuscle, and that is thick skin. Thin skin is very similar, but you only have in the epidermis stratum corneum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basale. There's no stratum lucidum in thin skin. Thin skin, though, does have hair. This is a hair within a hair fault with a sebaceous gland surrounding it. It also has a smooth muscle called an erector pili muscle attached to it. Here we can see the sebaceous gland opened up inside of a hair follicle in the actual hair itself. Sweat gland in white with some arteries attached to it. Blue would be the veins and the yellow is the adipose tissue. Last thing to mention about this entire model is even though Miser's corpuscles and Pacinian are only represented on thick skin, they're actually in thin skin as well. So this model shows some things really well, but it also leaves out a lot of detail that a larger model would cover.